Hello, I am Rakesh Mahabunda. This is my second class lecture 2 and my chapter is Relation which is the first to second year science first chapter. So, in this chapter start, I start from Cartesian product of cell. If A and B are two non empty set, non empty set, then the set of all order pairs as A B. So that A belongs to A and B belongs to B is called Cartesian product of set and it is denoted by it is denoted by A cross B. So that A cross B equal to A B such that A belongs to A and B belongs to B is called Cartesian product of set A and B if B cross A equal to B A such that B belongs to B and A belongs to A same if A cross B equal to phi then A equal to phi or B equal to phi either A phi or B phi as A equal to the set containing 1, 2 and B set containing x, y so A cross B equal to the order by containing 1 x 1 y 2x 2y same if we take b cross a then it is right now x1 x2 y1 and y2 same we can write a cross a equal to 1 1 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2. Same B cross B equal to XX, XY, YX, YY. So this is the called Cartesian product of set and the rules are formed. So if a set containing m number of elements and set B containing n number of elements, then the total number of order pairs in A cross B or elements of A cross B is cardinal of A cross B equal to mn. There are mn number of elements or order pairs are here. If a set containing three elements and B set containing two elements, then Cartesian product of A cross B containing three into two equal to six number of elements or order pairs are there. So now I discuss about relation. So what is relation? Relation means if 
A and B are two set. Then a relation R from set A to set B is a subset of subset of A cross B so that R subset equal to A cross B if A is set B is another set then R is the relation from set A to set B is a subset of A cross B so that R subset equal to A cross B first point if A and B are two non empty set non empty sets then and r is the relation from set a to set b then we can write a related to b if a does not related to b then we can write a not related to b same so as example if a equal to 1 2 3 4 and b equal to 3 5 7 9 and r 1 5 3 9 etc this is also an example. Now, you know, domain and range. Domain and range are sets. Domain is a set and range is also a set. So first you know domain. Domain means if R is a relation from set A to set B, then the set of all first components of order pairs which are which are belonging R is called domain of R. So domain of R is equal to domain of R equal to A such that A B belongs to R. Example if A equal to 1, 3, 5, 7 and B equal to 2, 6, 10, 14 R is a relation 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 10, 7, 14 so here domain of R equal to domain of R equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. 1, 3, 5, 7. This is called domain of R. Because in this relation there are four order pairs and this is first, second, third, fourth. 
and first order of pair first component is 1 second order of pair first component is 3 third order of pair first component 5 and fourth order of pair first component 7 so collecting all first components of order of pairs which are belonging to r is called domain of r 1 3 5 7 so this is called domain of r same now you know range Say if R is a relation from set A to set B, then the set of all second components, all second components of R of S, which are belong to R, is called range of R. Same range of R equal to B such that A B belongs to R. Same. Here we can write also range of R range of R equal to 2, 6, 10, 14. Here A is a set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 7. B is a set containing the elements 2, 6, 10, 14. Here R is a relation 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 10, 7, 14. So range of R equal to the Second components of our pairs which are belonging to R is called range of R. So here first order pair, second component is 2, here second component 6, here second component 10, here second component 14. So this is 2, 6, 10, 14. So this is the range of R. So here we know what is domain set and range set. Now, no relation on a set. Relation on a set. If A is a set, if A is a non empty set, non empty set, the relation, then a relation R. relation R from set A to from set A to itself is called relation on a set. So, you know here the relation from A to itself means a related to a, a related to a, the r is a subset to a cross a so that this is a relation and this relation is called binary relation a is non set the relation r from set a to itself so r subset equal to a cross a this is called binary relation example if a equal to 1, 2, 3 again so A cross A is again we can write in this cutting product so R is a relation from set A to set A is called relation on a set or binary relation so here total number of relation we can say total number of relation on set A to itself is given such suppose the cardinal of A equal to N then the total number relation is to the power n into n equal to 2 to the power n square same if a and b are two non-empty set 
ए एंड बी आर टू नॉन एम्प्टी सेट कार्डिनलिटी ऑफ ए इक्वल टू एम एंड कार्डिनलिटी ऑफ बी इक्वल टू एम देन टोटल नंबर ऑफ टोटल नंबर ऑफ रिलेशन फ्रॉम ए टू बी इज टू द पावर एम एन सच कार्डिनलिटी ऑफ इक्वल टू थ्री एंड कार्डिनलिटी ऑफ बी इक्वल टू टू The number of relation from A to B, total number of relation is to the power three into two equal to two to the power six. This is the direct formula of number of relation. We can find it. Inverse relation. Saying if A and B are two sets, R is a relation from. Set A to set B. Then we write we write A related to B. The inverse relation is denoted by the inverse relation. is denoted by r inverse which is relation from b to a such as example r is relation Suppose a equal to a b and b equal to one two and r is relation is a one b two a two so a one b two a one b two then R inverse equal to we can write here one a and two b. Question can exchange. So R inverse is a relation which is from b to a. If a related to b is called a relation relation from a to b, but inverse relation is denoted by R inverse and the relation from b to a. This is the example. Here, suppose this is set A and this is set B. Here, A, B, and here one, two. The relation is A one and B two. This is called A related to B, but The relation from B to A is called R inverse. The relation from A to B is called relation, and B to A is called inverse relation. So here we conclude that range of or domain of domain of R equal to range of R inverse same domain of R inverse is equal to range of R.
so this is the inverse relation so here we know addition product set number of addition product elements of addition product then relation total number of relation then after you know domain range and binary relation here you know inverse relation so what is inverse relation inverse relation means if r is a relation from a to b then r inverse is a inverse relation from b to a so this is my second class or lecture to my next class i say type of relations so thank you so much